Hi everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel, Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely daisy flower. Now as you can see from the picture, I am going to show you three different sizes and I will tell you what adjustments to make to make the size bigger or smaller. For this tutorial, I will be using double knit yarn in white and yellow, which I'm going to work with a 4mm crochet hook. If you enjoy my tutorials, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and go ahead and press that little bell button as well to be notified of any upcoming tutorials. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback and comments about my tutorials as well, so please leave a comment down below and enjoy this tutorial and I will see you next time. So let's go ahead and we're going to start off by working a slip knot with your yellow colour. Use whatever method you prefer to do this. Slip your crochet inside the loop and chain two. Yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the loop. We have two chains here. Going to skip the first chain and we're going to work six single crochets in the second chain from your hook. Now be mindful, I'm talking in US terminology and in UK terminology, that would be a treble crochet. Let's go ahead and slip our crochet in just the top part of our second chain from the hook. Pull up a loop from there, two loops on our crochet. Yarn over and pull through both. That's my first single crochet. I'm going to work six all together. Here's my second, third, fourth, fifth, and here's my sixth single crochet. Once you have your six single crochets, you're going to pull on this bit of yarn to eliminate the gap between your stitches. And once you do that, this is going to bring all your stitches nice and close together. Now this completes our round one. From here, we're going to start round two and we're not going to close off our work. We're going to work in a spiral, which means we are going to continue working on top of these stitches. So let's slip our crochet in top part of our first single crochet from a previous row or round rather. So let's slip your crochet in there. That's my first single crochet and I've made my way through there. Yarn over, pull up a loop and we're going to work our first stitch, which is first single crochet in there. Now I'm going to follow this on with another single crochet in the same stitch. Now when you work two single crochets in the same stitch, it's called an increase. So we're going to now work six increases all together. So here's my first increase. I'm going to work my second increase again which means two single crochets in the same stitch third increase here's my fourth increase fifth increase and my final increase number six and once you've worked your six increases you should have a total of 12 stitches altogether. we're now going to finish off with this color and i'm going to work a slip stitch in the next stitch over so pull up a loop from there and make this loop go through your loop on the the one that you had on your crochet already and that works a slip stitch now let's go ahead and snip this color off and we can work this into our stitches later on using a darning needle and there we go. <clears throat> We're now going to grab hold of our new color, which is the white one. And I'm going to attach that along the top of these stitches. So we can use any stitch. It doesn't matter where you connect it. You simply put your crochet in one of these stitches and loop this new yarn onto your crochet and pull this through the stitch like this. I tend to give my yarn a little knot in place, but this is not necessary, but I prefer to do this. So once you've done that, you're going to slip your crochet back into that same stitch and we're going to pull up a loop. Now from here, this is where we are working on the petals and the size of this daisy is going to be determined by how many chains you're going to work. If you would like your daisy to be nice and small, I would suggest for you to chain six. If you would like the petals to be a little bit bigger, you go ahead and chain 10. And if you would like them quite large, I would suggest for you to chain 14. Now, as you may notice, I have gone up in increments of four. 
but as long as you choose any even number, it doesn't make any difference. So you can adjust the number of stitches that you do. So for this particular one, we're going to be working 10 chains. So let's work one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once you have your 10 chains, we're going at the base of these stitches back again into the same stitch and we're going to work a slip stitch. Pull up a loop, make this loop go through the loop on your crochet and we're going to now work a slip stitch in the next stitch. So we've used this stitch already, going to the next one over and work a slip stitch in there. And again, we're going to repeat the same process all the way around. So from here, we're going to do 10 chains again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And slip stitch at the base of these stitches. Pull up a loop, pull through this. And now we're going to slip stitch in the next stitch over. And repeat the same process. So go ahead and work all these petals all the way around and I'll meet you near to the end. On to my last stitch now. Let's go ahead and work this one together. Slip stitch at the base first. Chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to work a slip stitch at the base of chain 10 again. And that completes our petals. Now to cast our work off, we're going to work a slip stitch at the base of the first petal here. Slip your crochet there, pull up a loop and make this loop go through the loop on your crochet. Now what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and slip this colour off. And now we're going to pull this out of the stitch. And now we can use a darning needle to work all the ends in. I'm going to show you how to work the white one and then I'll leave you to work the rest. So using your darning needle, we are going to thread this bit of yarn into it and just where you worked your slip stitch right at the base of the first petal, we are going to slip our needle back inside there. So this thread goes from the back like this and this will bring these two petals nice and close and you won't be able to tell a starting point. Now we're going to work the ends in at the back. So what I would suggest for you to do is I would like you to move a few stitches over like this and then start to work these ends in. I tend to work the ends in two stitches at a time. So go two more stitches away And now working in the opposite direction, so going back through a few different stitches. And now coming back in the same direction one more time. There we go. And this should secure your thread in place. Let's go ahead and snip this off. And now you can go ahead and work all the other ends in as well and meet me back here. I've now gone ahead and worked all the ends in and this is what my finished flower looks like. Now this particular flower was made with 10 chains. If you made a smaller flower, this is what the size variation would be in terms of 6 chains, 10 chains and here's the 14 chain flower. So as you can see, the petals will be a lot more larger and that's what they will look like. If you enjoyed making this flower with me, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.